Hello, my name is Jeppe Lindale and uh, I'm here uh, to show you one of my guitars. This is a Tom Anderson classic and it's made in 1996. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, the Tom Anderson started building guitars uh, in 1984, 85, around that time. Didn't make many guitars the first years. In the 90s, if you believe the online forums, he made um, his best guitars. I'm not sure of that really. I've tried this one, which is from 96, and I've tried some of his later models. And uh, ah, there's not that much of a difference. It has the same kind of neck. Uh, hardware is still, and pickups are still custom made. And uh, I don't think really there is uh, that much of a difference. The difference could be that uh, he has never really made that many guitars. I think in the 90s he built around six to seven hundred guitars a year and the latest um, here from 2016 in an interview uh, he stated that he made around eight to nine hundred guitars a year. So these are custom ordered today um, so and they of course don't come cheap, but uh, compared to Gibson, Ibanez, Fender, etc, they're making thousand a day, so um, these are uh, rare and uh, also quite expensive. This one was around 2,500 US dollars in 1906, uh, the classic uh, drop top, which is uh, with the flames, um, Another finish are a little bit more expensive, pretty much the same prices as today. The last one I've seen on eBay um, start around three thousand US dollars. So basically, this is a um, this is a very high end guitar for sure. Has a very fast, very slim, very nice neck, maple neck, um, Stratocaster like body, um, and kind of feels like balanced uh, like the PRS, very fine instrument, very lightweight as well. Not uh, to be confused with an Ibanez. It, it, for some, I don't know what, exactly what it is. I think of course it's a little bit about the shape, but it doesn't feel like an Ibanez. Uh, maybe then the neck um, has the same kind of fastness uh, to it. Um, but. Uh, I think about PRS when I pick this up, I don't know, uh, I guess that's a kind of individual. Um, locking tuners, and this one has these switches. To be honest, they are a little bit too much for my taste. Um, if you're the kind of guy who likes really get into the sound and get an, your own unique sound, um, you, you could be up for this sitting all day switching those switches, they're great, they work and it even has a little switchboard here you can play along with and uh, mix um, the pickups in every possible way or you can just play it um, little bit over the top. Um, I don't know what happened to to the free work switch, but um, this is a little bit too much for my taste. But um, yeah, maybe that's just me. Anyways, it plays very smooth, very fast, and the pickups. Uh, he make he makes the pickups himself. They're custom made and they're very nice, very warm. So, 
Yeah, another feature here is it, it has the serial number here made in California and the serial number and you can actually type uh, the number in at the Tom Anderson webpage and it will tell you where the guitar, uh, when the guitar was made, what finish it has, what hardware it has, what neck it has and it actually works. I've, I've not, uh, I've, uh, I had a, f a few of these Tom Andersons and they have never had any issues with the typing in. You know, when you're trying to find a, uh, if, if with a Fender or Gibson serial number, sometimes it's a, yeah, you don't really find what you're looking for. But uh, here, it, it, this works. It comes with the original casing, uh, papers and everything. Um, so, if you're looking to, to buy one, you should definitely check these Tom Edison's out. They are great guitars. Um, and if... Um, Many stores do uh, contact Tom Anderson for getting some custom work and uh, you can get these custom made. I guess they are more expensive, but if, if you're looking for a very high-end uh, guitar, uh, you should check those out. So this was my review of uh, the Tom Anderson Classic. Um, great guitar, great investment, I think. Uh, he probably will stop building within the next... I don't know, 15 years, 10 to 15 years, and uh, with the amount of guitars he has made, uh, the prices will probably go up on these. So this could be a great investment to, to put some money in a, in a good Tom Anderson uh, classic or uh, grub. Okay, this was my review, and thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. Okay, hi hi.